everyone wants to build a portfolio and create wealth. However, the biggest challenge that an investor faces is not knowing how wealth creation works, the rules of wealth creation. These rules are not really complex. On the contrary, they're actually very simple and easy to implement. This is what we're going to discuss in this video. Five fundamental rules to creating a good long term wealth creating portfolio. Rule number one, savings first and then spending. Famous 19th century chess player Charles Hafe quoted, it's not your salary that makes you rich, it's your spending habits. Warren Buffett is a big proponent of this too. In Buffett's words, do not save what is left after spending, but spend what is left after saving. This also ensures that because you might not have enough money, your unnecessary expenses are also controlled. So if you've done this, the next question typically for everybody is, okay, how much should I save? That's where we take into consideration rule number two is the 50-30-20 rule. Elizabeth Warren, the US Senator, popularized this rule through her book, All Your Worth, The Ultimate Lifetime Money Plan. According to this rule, divide your income Allocate 50% to needs, 30% to wards, and save the rest of 20%. It's simple but very powerful. It also doesn't mean you should save only 20%. No, you can save more too. But 20% is the very least that you should be saving on a monthly basis. And if we go by the first rule, then invest the 20% right at the beginning of the month as soon as you have the cash flow coming into your account. And this will make sure that you're saving at least 20%. And then during the month, try to invest additional amounts. This will push your overall savings rate even higher than the minimum 20%. Right, so by now, I'm sure you have another question. Savings is fine. 20% is also excellent, but where do we have to invest and what should the asset allocation be? Now that brings us to rule number three, 100 minus your age. Subtract your age from 100 to determine how much of your portfolio should be allocated to equities. Say for example, your age is 25. Then 100 minus 25 allocates 75% of your portfolio to equities. Now equities would include direct stocks, ETFs, and invests as well on the Vested platform. These are curated portfolios that we make to help you diversify your holdings. And you can purchase them through the Vested app. It's super easy, fast and convenient. At this stage, some of you will have a question. Will equities provide me a 25% or a great return year on year on my investments? I want to build wealth fast. Well, the answer to this question lies in rule number four, which is the 10-5-3 rule. It basically says that equities will not necessarily generate 25% year over year return because nobody knows what is going to happen each year. But you should have realistic expectations from your investment. And this rule tells you that what you should expect is a 10% return from equity. So 10, 5, which is 5% return from any debt instrument, which is a bond or a fixed deposit and 3% from a savings account. Equities might have generated, let's say in a year, 25% when you look back at history, right? But over time, if you average it out with both bull and bear markets, equities do not generate any significant returns or negative returns over a year. But on a long-term basis, you can expect that over time, equities will provide a 10% return year over year to your portfolio. If you want higher returns, you are then forced to take additional risk by investing in unproven assets or companies, which is not really required. So the last question that you might have is, isn't 10% too low? How will my wealth be created by just 10% return that I get year on year? And this is where a final rule, rule number five comes in, which is rule of 72. Rule of 72 indicates the number of years required to double your money at a given rate of return. So what you do is you divide 72 by the returns that you're getting and that will give you approximately the number of years it will take to double your return. So let's say you assume that 10% is our portfolio return, then in roughly 7.2 years, our portfolio will double in value compared to what it is today. Super easy and simple to understand. Based on this rule, your portfolio's final value is dependent on two things. First is the initial value of your savings and second is the rate of return generated. Now rule four told you that you should be realistic with your returns. Don't over optimize. So instead of expecting that you'll generate more returns, why not increase the other value, which is your portfolio size, which is your savings right from the beginning. And that is what is rule number one. All right, so to wrap up, let's do a quick recap of the five golden rules of investing. The first is save before you spend. The second is the 50-30-20 rule, which is 
50% of your expenses can be needs, 30% can be wants, and at least 20% should be your savings. The third is how to do your asset allocation, which is the 100 minus age rule. Basically, depending on your age, you can calculate how much of your investment should be in equities. The fourth is the 10-5-3 rule that will tell you how much returns you should expect and not try to chase a lot of returns. So 10% is what you can get from equities, 5 from fixed deposits or bonds, and 3% from your savings account. The fifth rule is the rule of 72, which basically will tell you, based on your returns, how much time will your money double in? And that's the way in which you can think of, okay, if I need to reach a certain goal, at a 10% return or a 5% return, how much time will it take for me to reach that return? Thanks for listening. If you want to start your investing journey in the US markets to diversify your equities investment, the link is in the description so that you can download. Please subscribe to get more such videos from us.